Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the Rift Breaker. Uh, what a good game, honestly. I really like RTS and it's a bit like uh, the Arbillion, if you compare it. Some kind of like RTS survival game. It's well optimized. So let's start with the optimization guide. First of all, write game mode in your search. Make sure that game mode is applied. Uh, no issue with this game, it's running well with the game mode, so no stuttering, stuff like that. And also game mode now is really good for a uh, multi-core processor, so you're going to make sure that you're using the best core for your game. Xbox Game Bar, I recommend to remove it. Uh, it's, it's still causing a lot of issue in a lot of game stuttering, artifacts and stuff like that, so put this one at off. And make sure that your capture from Windows are at off, so background recording off, recorded audio off. Another thing that I recommend is uh, if you have an NVIDIA card 1000 series or more recent, write graphic setting in your search and you will have something called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You should see the difference on uh, like low end um, GPUs, stuff like 1050, 1050 Ti, even 1060. You can expect a nice 3 to 5 percent boost. But if you have like a mid range recent uh, GPU or even IN, you will not see any difference with this one. I recommend also to update your driver. So Radian, Nvidia, they have dedicated uh, driver for this game. So it's pretty big. It's a pretty big game. Not too sure for Nvidia, but I know Radian uh, launched a specific driver for. Uh, it was uh, I think uh, Rift Breaker and uh, the beta of Battlefield. So make sure that you update it. Normally you can expect five to ten percent boost in your FPS and also some optimization. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. One more thing, it's your energy plan, right energy, go to power option, make sure that you use balance um, or high performance. Some people are saying it's a little bit better for me. Balance, it's better when I do benchmark, generate less heat in my computer and I'm getting better boost clock. But uh, it's more for people who are playing on the laptop. Sometimes uh, it stay at power saver even when you plug in the wall, your computer. So just look at this. Always make sure that you're playing you're, when you play a game, you are at balance. You want to make sure that you're using the maximum resources from your computer. Also, I have dedicated guide on how to uh, overclock a GPU and CPU depending on the brand, uh, for example, for your GPU. So uh, definitely look at this. You can expect sometimes 5 to 10% percent bo percent boost in your FPS in this game. So really important to look at this. So now let's go inside of the game. Now inside of the game, go to option. After that, go to settings and go to graphic. So first of all, the first part here, it's pretty easy. Just make sure that you're using your native resolution from your monitor. So if you're playing 2K, go with 2K. If you have 1080p, go with 1080p. For the uh, screen, you have a couple of options. By default, it's always go back to borderless window. But I didn't see a big difference between borderless and the full screen. So honestly, just use whatever you want after that fidelity fx if you have this option i really recommend to use it you have a couple of preset um, me i'm using the best preset for the image quality ultra quality honestly it's almost on pair on par uh, when you compare with off and you can expect a nice 20 percent boost in your fps so i really recommend to use that and if you need more just lower a little bit the quality go with something like quality or even balance honestly at performance now the image is it's blurry so i don't recommend to use it but ultra quality is really good for uh, for me after that go to graphic advance so when you put the other one at ultra uh, you will see that you have a couple of gray uh, zone here so uh, it really depends like if you are using this or not. I'm going to put it back at off. Go back here. So good. So first of all, uh, you have ray trace shadow. So for sure, if you want to save FPS, I don't recommend the ray tracing. Uh, when you put it, you have a couple of like difference that you can change here. But honestly, if you want to boost your FPS and any guide, never use ray tracing. So put this one at off and put the retrace ambient inclusion at off. After that, for the shadow quality, you have a couple of presets. I really recommend a medium, ultra to medium. You can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. But medium to low, I, did, I just saw like a difference between 1% to 2%. So medium is a good spot to go. After that, soft shadow really depends on um, 
like if you where you are in your guide right now do you need 60 fps do you need like more uh you can expect if you put this one at off a two percent boost in your fps ambient inclusion this one you can expect a four percent boost in your fps if you remove it but your game will look flat so again really depend where you are if, are you struggling to get your 60 uh, if yes soft shadow and ambient inclusion put those one at off dynamic vegetation sorry this one i really recommend to put this one at off fold to off you can expect a nice five percent boost and it's not too bad for your image quality so this one definitely go with off Fidel, fidelity effects and fidelity sharpening this one the sharpening uh I, I liked it the image is a little bit more clear for me but uh, it will not change anything on your fps but fidelity effects this one if you put this one at on you can expect a nice three percent boost in your fps so really depend if you want to use it if you use the preset of uh super resolution you will not have access to them they will be grayed out the last one is the texture filtering. Honestly, if you have like 4 gig of VRAM and more, just go with 16x. Uh, the majority of computer now can easily run 16. If you have something older, go with 8x. And if you're playing on a, like a, an integrated GPU on your CPU, go something like 2x or 4x. So this is pretty much it, guys. The, the game is, I'm really impressed with it graphic looks amazing uh it's well optimized also when you have a like a big wave who's attacking you i really recommend the uh fidelity effect put this one at ultra quality and after that you can even like add some retrace it will help you a lot uh when you if you want to use retracing in this game uh because you're going to save a lot with the super resolution so that's about it guys uh, for the guide if you have any questions just come in, in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace